Yeah, my name is Andrea Marchi. I'm producer on the game called On Your Tail. Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Wir sind bei der Gamescom 2023 am Donnerstag, wenn ich das richtig weiß. Und äh, genau, der erste consumer -Tag. und ich habe einen neuen Gast mitgebracht. So, who are you and what are you working on? Yeah, uh, my role in this project is producer. Sure. Yeah, the game is a strange and quite unique mix between an investigative adventure, narrative-based investigative adventure and a live simulation game. The game is actually set in a fictional alternative Italy. Uh, our team is actually Italian. It's based on an actual region where me and the director used to spend our childhood summer vacations. And it's known because it's the same similar settings that then uh, Pixar's Luca. It's a region called uh, Cinque Terre in the northern side of Italy. So what inspired you to make a game like that? Uh, as I said, <clears throat> those are the places where part, a good part of the team actually used to spend summer vacation during childhood. And that's a very strong memory for us. And that, is, that mood is very important to us. That's mainly why, the why behind the setting of the game. I played it yesterday and uh, it's very light-hearted. Will this mood carry through the game or will we sometime bit, uh, turn into bitter yeah. or darker? I cannot spoil too much about the story, but as you say, the game has this superficial, you know, very light-hearted look and, and mood. But actually, going on with the story, it, it's going to reveal a much more, you know, mature side. I cannot say more because I don't want to spoil anything. We are, we are pretty close to some Studio Ghibli movies. It's quite all right if you don't spoil too much. We don't want to take that away from you. What type of gameplay can we expect from your game? Ah, uh, yeah, as I said, it's a kind of two souls game where one side you have this full 3D, you know, third person uh, adventure exploration game. And the other side is much more of a life simulation kind of game. But these two main systems continuously overlaps during the game. So it's quite difficult to explain because it's a completely different game, but maybe the closest thing we have is the Yakuza series. Completely different game, but something in the soul of these two games is quite relatable. And I think you mentioned that it's a deduction game, so can we expect some like Sherlock Holmes gameplay? Will we have a Watson? Yes, the main investigative mechanics is divided into these two phases where you first have to find clues using a magical magnifying lens that can see through the past. And the second phase where you have to use the clues you have collected to try to understand what actually happened in the crime scene. Are all crimes that happen, are they connected? Is it one overreaching arc or are they separated into smaller cases that may have relevance to each other? Yeah, we use this mechanic both for the main golden path you know, of, the, of, the, of the game and also for some side stories that we have. A very important question for most players is, like, will there be dating? Like, is this a life simulation? So, and if yes, yeah. who can we date? Yeah, the main mechanic we have for the life simulation part of the game, which is quite unique, is this what we call friendship system. We have this cast of characters, which actually are eight or nine. We still have to decide on the last one. Uh, that you can choose to bring with you during the game, during each part of the game. And this is very cool because having a character following you actually changes most of the activities you do in the game. And also on the deduction phase and based on the type of character you have, you have different kind of hints, different kind of, you know, dialogue with other characters and so on. So the variables, the game is quite huge. You can imagine the numbers of variables this brings to the table. So I can, I actually can. <laughs> so Will you have the option to date multiple uh, characters at the same time without any detriment? Yeah, uh, it works this way. Uh, when, you when you choose to spend your time with someone inside the cast, uh, 
I was talking about, you actually have this um, friendship, friendship level that increases depending on what you decide to do. And uh, the final goal for each character will be dating, yes. And is it something like, uh, like in GTA 4 where we had like a, a bonus for dating someone or is it just it is for you to do it because you want to date them? No, it's just in the hands of the player. We don't force, we don't like, we don't want to force players to do anything in this game. So it's quite free. So uh, let's assume that your game will be very successful. Would you like to put out a DLC, like to add on to the story? Or do you think it's, it's done, it's finished and we want to have another game, maybe similar or something to totally different? About DLCs, it's quite early to talk about that, but yes, we would like to. We already have some ideas to, on how to expand the lore, you know. And uh, team-wise, is this your first game that you're working on, or have you released other titles in this team combination? I work with Mauro, which is the CEO of the company for the last 10 years, so the company was founded in 2013. We actually worked on lots of games before this. We worked on every platform. We are, we are a Unity-based team. We published on every known platform from 3DS to PlayStation, uh, Xbox, PC, mobile. So yeah, this is not our first rodeo. <laughs> but, but this is the, f the biggest project of the, of the team so far. All right, and since you're veterans and already talked about the platforms you released on, will you release on every platform like this new game? At the moment, the game is announced for Switch and PC only. And Xbox, PlayStation, maybe in the future, or will it always not be an option? Mm, we cannot talk about that right now. <laughs> that is fine. What is your favorite feature of the game in the current state? I really love the friendship system because it really allows for a new kind of gameplay that I think people are not used to. So I'm pretty excited to see how the public will react to this. What is something that you're looking forward to implementing but hasn't been made it into the game yet? Uh, at the moment, pretty much every idea we had at the beginning was you know, implemented in the game. So we, we didn't let big things outside of the project, so we are quite happy about this. The, the scope of the game actually improved a lot during pre-production. Pre yeah. Thank you for your time. You. I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a good Gamescom. Yeah. And uh, in Italian, what is goodbye? Ciao a tutti, a presto. Ciao a tutti e presti? A presto. A presti. Okay. Dann vielen Dank und uh, bis zum nächsten Mal. Für mehr Reviews zu Indie-Games oder anderen Spielen lasst mir hier gerne einen Sub da oder folgt mir auf Twitch, um mich live zu sehen. Ich freue mich auf euch.